and we are live welcome to another episode of ab traffic quick talk and today we're going to be talking about luis lopez versus angelo leo the fight prediction and let's get right into the stats starting with luis lopez luis lopez is 30 years old he is 5 foot 4 inches tall he has a 66 inch reach he has a record of 30 wins and two defeats and now for angelo leo leo is 30 years old he is 5 foot 6 inches tall he has a 68 inch reach he has a record of 24 wins and one defeat we gotta fight people. A Mexican showdown is going down. The IBF featherweight champ Luis Lopez is fighting the number 8 ranked WBC Angelo Leo. This is going to be the second time Angelo Leo is fighting for a title. He won the WBO Super Bantamweight Championship against Tremaine Williams, then lost it to Stephen Fulton. He lost to a very good technical boxer, and Fulton looked too big for Leo. Angelo Leo is a great all-around boxer. He could box on the back foot. He's very comfortable fighting on the inside. He has good feet, good movement. He has good defense. He knows how to move his head. He's never looking for one shot. He's a great fast combination puncher. He never gasses out. Angelo Leo is an elite boxer. He's very competitive and has a lot of heart. Luis Lopez is the champion for a reason. He's tough. He's flashy. He's very entertaining. He has great movement. He's very awkward with his angles. He's very aggressive. Always looking for a finish. He's not afraid to throw down and exchange. He knows how to mix it up well. He has crazy stamina. He could fight on the back foot or he could pressure you he loves chaos he's not scared to go toe to toe he's a volume machine he's looking to fight he doesn't play a safe he doesn't respect anything that his opponent throw at him this guy has a lion heart this dude is about it i've been impressed with his performances he's not a clean crisp fighter he goes in there like a warrior and fights it's crazy to me to see a champion fight like that luis lopez is a huge favorite coming into this fight leo's going to need to turn up the pressure for this fight and improve his defense if he wants to make this fight competitive he's going to need to to control the ring and cut it off. He has a two inch reach advantage so that's a good start. He needs to be aggressive and give Luis Lopez zero space to operate. Show him something to get some respect. If Leo wants to make this fight competitive, he needs to get down and dirty. Have a strong jab, get inside, and punish the body. Luis Lopez is the better boxer and maybe possesses more power due to him having more knockouts under his belt. I think the defense from Lopez and the fact that Lopez has fought better competition will separate these two guys. Lopez fights like Roe Jones. The man looks like he's floating around the ring, and every shot he lands, it seems like it hurts. The guy has been looking amazing. Angelo Leo is good. I would consider him an elite boxer. He's a former champion, but he doesn't possess that scary power, and his boxing skills are not sharp. I think he's a top 10 fighter, but I don't know if he could be champion and stay champion for a very long time. But I don't know if he could become champion and stay champion for a very long time. Only until he approves his defense. I don't think he will reach that level yet. But he's done it before. Luis Lopez has been looking very impressive getting wins over very tough competition. He's on a 13 winning streak. So yeah, I understand the odds. How can you go against a 13 winning streak? Luis Lopez has been looking very dominant. He's been boxing on a whole different level. This guy deserves more eyes on him. He deserves to be talked about more. For my prediction, I'm siding with Luis Lopez. I'm hoping after this fight he could get a big name to really prove himself because he's amazing. And it's looking like he's going to stay on the streak for a little while. And that's all I got for you. Don't forget to drop a like, a subscribe, a comment, a share. Do all that good stuff for me. Until next time.